Hello everyone, this is Dudu Swaroop, a developer advocate here at Vulture. In this tech talk, we are going to talk about how you can leverage Vulture GPU stack for efficient ML deployments. With rapid open source development, especially by Meta with their Llama 3 model, many of you are likely interested in serving these models or your own custom models, whether it is for image, audio, video or any other application. Deploying machine learning models efficiently is crucial. Today, I'll walk you through the steps to successfully deploy these models. Let's have a look at the key steps involved in deploying a machine learning model. First, we will spin up a GPU instance that will provide the necessary computational power required for complex machine learning workloads. Next, we will set up container orchestration to avoid dependency issues and ensure smoother operation. Container orchestration tools like Kubernetes makes it easy to manage and deploy containerized applications. Next, we will push these container images to a container registry that will make it easy to access and deploy our pre-built container images across different environments. Next up, we will deploy our inference services that makes our model accessible for real-time use. At last, we will scale our deployment to multiple machines to handle increased workloads and redundancy by distributing workload to multiple machines. These steps are the backbone to deploy a machine learning model and make the deployment both robust and scalable. Now let's discuss the application we are deploying. Our application utilizes multiple machine learning models and offers two endpoints, one for text-based chats and the other for voice-based chats. The text input is directly processed through a large language model. However, the process for voice inputs is a bit more complex. The voice input is processed through an automatic speech recognition model to form a text response. The text is then sent to a large language model for understanding and response generation. The response then is sent to a text-to-speech model for converting the text to an audio. This sequence ensures a seamless and interactive experience for users whether they prefer text-based chats or voice-based chats. Now let's dive into the actual deployment steps. We'll start with spinning up a GPU instance with pre-configured GPU stack. Then we'll go ahead and set up container orchestration. After that, we are going to push these container images to a private container registry. These steps lay the foundation of deploying our machine learning models efficiently. Here you see the Vulture customer portal. You start by selecting a cloud GPU and selecting a location near to you or as required by your application. Then selecting a desired GPU and a server size. Vulture makes it pretty easy to get the computational resources you need. For example, if low latency is a requirement for your application, then selecting a server location near to your target user base is efficient as it makes it easy for the data to travel within less time, thereby improving the performance of your application. You may have noticed that we selected Vulture GPU stack in our marketplace application while deploying our server. That's because GPU stack comes with pre-installed softwares like NVIDIA GPU drivers and container toolkit, which allows to run GPU accelerated application. It also comes with Docker and NVIDIA container toolkit which helps us to containerize applications and run them on GPU instances. Additionally, it also has K3S with NVIDIA GPU operator, which also allows to containerize applications and run them on GPU instances. With Vulture GPU stack, you can easily build, fine-tune or infer machine learning models. For example, if you are working with a deep learning model, these pre-installed software saves you a lot of setup time allowing you to dedicate yourself more to the building or the fine-tuning of the model. Next, let's have a look at the preparation of our inference services. We start by creating a container image that includes a model archive and a custom handler for TorchServe. TorchServe is an open-source model serving framework from PyTorch, which makes it easy to build and scale our machine learning model. 
the image is then pushed to a private container registry. These steps are to be repeated for each model required by our application. In our case, we are using Whisper for automatic speech recognition, Llama 3 as a language understanding model, and Piper as text-to-speech model. With the initial steps completed, we are ready to move on to deploy our actual inference services. This is where we make our models available for use in our application. We use Docker Compose to deploy our inference services. Here are the configurations for each of the machine learning models. Notice that we are providing GPU access to our containers so that our machine learning models can utilize the full power of GPUs for inference. Docker Compose makes it easy to define and manage multi-container applications. For example, if you are deploying a web application that has several microservices, Docker Compose allows you to manage these services so that they can work seamlessly together. Once deployed, you can see all of the containers running, including the inference services, the web application, and Redis for rate limiting and caching. Users interact with the web application, which in turn communicate with the various services as required. Having Redis for rate limiting and caching is particularly useful to handle large amounts of user requests efficiently. It improves the overall performance of the application and reduces the loads on the server. This multimodal deployment demonstrates how versatile the system is. It supports agents for various industry verticals. This flexibility is the key to understand the user's needs and preferences. For example, a patient can use voice input to demonstrate their symptoms and the application can use the voice input to provide relevant information or even connect them to a healthcare professional. For those looking out to scale to multiple machines, Vulture Kubernetes Engine is an excellent option. It comes with NVIDIA GPU operator pre-installed, which makes it easy to manage GPU resources across nodes. Whether you are on a virtual machine or a bare metal server, GPUs across nodes are automatically interconnected, providing a seamless scaling experience. On top of Kubernetes, we have also open sourced a tool called Slinky, which makes it easy to deploy the Slurm Workload Manager. The Slurm Workload Manager is essential to schedule machine learning jobs and maximize the GPU resource utilization. Slinky ensures that your resources are used optimally, improving the overall performance of the application. At Vulture, we are committed to bring compute resources closer to you to support data residency requirements. With over 30 global locations, we likely have a presence near you or as your application requirements. Whether it is regular cloud compute, managed Kubernetes, or high-performance GPU, Vulture provides infrastructure to fulfill your cloud requirements. Thank you for your time. I hope this tech talk has provided you with a clear understanding of how to deploy machine learning models on Vulture's robust infrastructure.